Hello, guitar building family. This is Erica Rydberg here. I'm going to talk about my build today. The focus of the day was designing the head and making that customized. I ended up bringing, we had this paper design we could actually place on the head if we were reusing tools and equipment and all those fun things. Given that I only have a coping saw that I borrowed from my friend, I did not get too advanced into it. However, I did bring the initial design, converted it into a vector file and edited it so that um, I kind of did the exercises that were provided using Illustrator so I could use my mouse and my keypad and design things that way, which I found very useful for myself, but I am a digital native and these are the things I like to do. And I do it with laser cutting all the time is using vector design software. So that's what I did today. And then I ended up uh, sort of backtracking and going old school. And I used a red pencil and drew on the guitar head, sort of something that I thought I might be able to cut with a coping saw. So it was pretty simple. Um, I noticed that when I did cut a, well, I broke the blade. So I had to go on the hunt to get a new blade and then put the coping saw back together, which I managed to do all tonight um, after I got back from my vacation. And then after that, um, I applied more true oil to everything except the neck because I did that once today and now I feel like I have to play catch up with the true oil on the guitar neck. I went also on the hunt to find butcher block um, conditioner to apply to the fretboard. Did not find that yet. Hopefully I will tomorrow. And back to the neck and the head and all that. So um, the true and true oil. So I applied about one coat of that so far to that. Um, and I'm going to try to progress through that tomorrow, at least part of it, and get it closer to a final finish and a few more coats. And I also have painter's tape, so I'm going to put that on, protect the fretboard, which I didn't do. And I got my sticky hand root hands on the front a little bit today. Um, so I'm hoping to do a better job of that tomorrow. For the guitar body, I started doing more true oil applications. So I've done, I had done two at least by this morning. And by this evening, <laughs> I started doing the wet dry application. So a nice sand um, and I worked with 220 for the dry. And then I went in with some more true oil and 320 grits or 300, something like that. <coughs> Sorry, sawdust, man. Um, 320 grits um, paper and worked through that to make sure that it would have a nice application. So I'm going to continue applying true oil tomorrow, um, sanding down that neck to try to get it nice and smooth. Um, I think there's some divots in it. Maybe that gives it a little bit of personality, but that's where I'm at today. And I will continue the journey tomorrow. I have some homework to do for the class itself identifying parts, I managed to do that and building a spreadsheet of how much it would actually cost to build a guitar. It came to about $836 for these parts if you're buying them all separately um, and sort of customizing. So that's expensive, but hey, so is my time. <laughs> and all in all, I mean, it would cost quite a bit to build a guitar. That's what I'm learning. And it takes a lot of time. I came back from vacation today and this is all I've done this afternoon uh, besides drying my tent out. So looking forward to tomorrow and more adventures. Peace.